the final caper of the Thieves Guild is upon us, because today we are going to be doing a guild of our own. Which, like I said, is the last one. It's very important because it will be helpful for the safe cracking update, which should be coming out within a week or two, I believe. I think that's how many weeks are left in the month, right? Technically, there's three Mondays left in the month, so it could be up to three weeks without them breaking their promise of the month ahead. But hopefully it'll come out on the 23rd. We can hope and uh, dream of the amazingness that will be safe cracking because it does sound pretty good. Now, anyway, I've got the items ready. Um, let me see. So, yeah, this week's update was uh, rebuilding Edgeville. Um, not something we can do. We've not done the prerequisite quests, so not a thing we're worrying about. So instead, we're doing this caper. So that is why we're doing this this week. And because of the possibility of it actually coming out next week even though I find that unlikely, based on what I've heard. But you never really know, do you? Hey, we got Thieves Guild 3. We've never even really looked around the Thieves Guild, but this is what it looks like right now. It'll look nicer when we're done. All right, let's talk to the Guildmaster. Ah, Kebab, can I borrow you for a moment? I've got some work in dire need of a hero, and you're the best agent I have to take it on. This is it, Kebab. This is the big one. What's afoot? Oh no, now you've got me doing it. Our chance to gain the recognition we deserve and a place and, and place the Thieves Guild alongside the other fine institutes of Gilinor, no less. Do tell. I have just found out that the Guild registry, registry has opened again. Since the old office closed down, there has simply been no chance to register new guilds. But now we have the chance and the ability for the game to crash, apparently. Okay, fun. Um, it'll be back in a second. <laughs> Jeez. I've not had the game crash in mid-gameplay like that in a long time. It's crazy. Okay, come on. I had to hide the uh, screen because they show your email address. Kind of silly, but true. Okay, uh, unhide the screen. There we go. There's the old RuneScape login that you don't see very much. And here we are. Okay. Um. Since the old office closed down, there has simply been no chance to register new guilds, but now we have the chance and the ability to become official. Good, good. What exactly do we need to gain? What, I mean, what exactly do we gain from that? Legitimacy, my dear boy. The chance to stand tall and proud in the light of day. While we slink quietly through the shadows? Got it in one. There's just one problem. Does it involve money and dirty deeds by any chance? Funny you should say that. Their fees are exorbitant, I'm afraid, and we've spent all our capital on building... Um, just on building, apparently. The solution is elegant, though. We need someone highly skilled to break into their vaults, steal their funds, and then pay our registration fees with their own money. Will you be the one doing this, then? Ah ha ha, no, I was hoping you'd be up for it, doing it. How surprising. I'm in. Good show. Can you explain the plan to me, please? Of a certainty, it... Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, this is not what I had hoped from this mini quest. This is weird. There must be something wrong with the Thieves Guild. Because I've been playing on this computer all day. It's not the first time I've recorded either. I recorded the previous episode today. Just hours ago. Hmm. Okay, apparently I missed dialogue then. So I'm going to talk to Robin. Hello there. Ah, our rising star. Oh, whoops. There we go. Now what can I do for you? Um, about this caper. The guildmaster says you have a way I can rob the guild registry and return without being recognized. I do, yes, but it'll take some skill with herbs to pull it off. I've dabbled a little. What's the plan? 
We're going to make their eyes water so hard that they can't see you properly for the tears. Well, there's one thing I can change in my recording that might reduce the uh, chance. There we go. You'll need a vial of water, an irate herb, and a bowl of chopped onion to make a little portable vial of stench. That sounds useful. Then when I go back with the goods, I leave the vial behind and they won't be able to identify me as the thief. Exactly. I'll need to pull off a little magic trick I know to give the vial its affinity first. Otherwise, you'll tear up whenever you open it too. And that won't be any good. I'll be back with the vial then. I have the ingredients right here. There we go. Now we talk. Hello there. Ah, rising star. Now what can I do for you? Repeat the dialogue. About the scaper. Oh. Uh, okay, can we just, like, use this on him then? Hello there. Ah, uh, okay. Now what can I... That Was that actually counting as using it on him? Yes, it was. Apparently you're just supposed to repeat the dialogue. Whatever. You have any more advice for me? No, no, whatever. I'm sure they'll have a vault entrance locked and guarded with some sort of secondary door with as good a lock as they can find, and the coffer trapped. Be prepared, and all that, see what you can use to get attention away from yourself. Thanks. Okay, but I have the vial of stench here, and I need you to do the thing with it. The magical affinity. Okay, do I have to, like, leave and then come back? What is going on here? Please tell me I'm not like glitched or something due to me crashing twice in the middle of dialogue. <sighs> oh well. Okay, we need to talk to Robin. Um. No? What am I supposed to do with this dumb vial of stench? Okay, let me read the guide. No, this is... This is supposed to work. Um... I don't know. There's something wrong here. Maybe if I talk to this guy. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, keep that in mind if you ever do this. Apparently, you have to do this guy's dialogue, even though... There, you should find it entirely harmless now, unless you're a member of the guild registry. How'd you come to learn a spell like that? I have a shady past. Now what can I do for you? No, that's that's fine now. I think we're good. I hope. That was a bit glitchy. Report that bug for sure. Jeez. Alright, so... Now... I don't know why I'm bothering with the ladder. We need to make our way over to Ardoin. And I guess we'll go ahead and just use my cape for that, because why not? what I keep the dang thing on for. Alright, here we are. The interesting thing about having these butterflies still flying around is I always have more prayer points than I should. Because they always boost a little bit over where you should be. Same with summoning. And HP as well. You can always tell when I've been catching them recently. Considering it's right after the reset. Is it happy hour right now? I think it is. At the old spring fair. It's not really that amazing of a thing. Although it's better than it was, at least. It did improve it. Um, right, the guild registry. It's like over here somewhere, I think. Maybe this building? Maybe this building? It's a building, that's for sure. Ah, yes, it's this one. The Ardoin registry. Okay, so... Pickpocket the registrar. Is what we're supposed to do. Let's see if this thing works, then. Alright, now we're inside. There we go, we got a key. Now what do we do with the key? Gotta use a guide on this, as I said so. We have to do this next part quickly. 
So you have to wind the cuckoo clock and stand next to the counter. And then, oh my gosh, I gotta remember all these things. Okay, where's the cuckoo clock? There it is. I don't know where I'm luring the guard, though. That's the problem. How's it going there, guard? Oh, I gotta equip my blackjack. So the lure is just that. Vault key. Where's the vault? I don't know where the vault is. Oh, downstairs, right? Do I use the key on the trap door? Wait, lever. Oh, there's a lever to pull. Oops. What's going on here? I'm sure I have no idea. Well, I'm going to have to ask you to leave while I sort this out. And somehow... Oh. Nice. Okay, well, we've got the cuckoo clock key, at least. Yeah, I screwed up. I forgot about the lever. Okay. Jeez. Don't be so critical of me. This whole crashing thing has messed with my brain. Okay, so now that I know that you just lure him right there, it's more of a trick than a lure. Okay, she's out of the way. How's it going there, guard? Okay, now we knock out. Now we steal. And now we pull the vault access lever. And then we go down into the vault. And she'll never know. All right, done it. As my guy said. Okay, apparently we didn't do it. Oh, am I supposed to do right click? Yeah, okay. Uh oh, oh right, I forgot to check for traps. Oh, that's a nasty one. Ah, 300 experience for me, and I got nothing. Okay, I have to open it manually. There we go, bonds. Nice, now to get out of here. Okay, is there anything special I have to do to leave? Hmm. Apparently I missed some dialogue, I think, where they lock me down here. The shortest box. Ah, we're going to escape. Time I was elsewhere, I think. The way we go. All right, so what do you do with the bonds? Oh, apparently you just hand them their own bond bonds. Bond, James Bond, Bond Bond. Yes. Okay, let's go bank this dang thing. I think after the quest, you get it converted to one that works in, like, shops to let you sell things back. But the thing is, I think they still recognize you as the thief. After that, like, you won't be able to sell to the guy if you have it or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm lying here. But I feel like there was something that was a bit weird about how it worked. But it has been many years since I bothered, because they've never made thieves... Thieving be a varied skill. It's always just about the pickpocketing. That's all thieving ever is, for some reason. At higher levels, at least. Alright. Well, here's the moment of truth for Robin's Potion. Right. Hello there, I'm from the Thieves Guild in Lumbridge. I'm here to pay our dues. Not so fast. We've got one of your members trapped in the vault. Really? What do they look like? We can't tell. He has some sort of device that makes our eyes water if we get close. All we know is, it's a man of about your height. That's a bit vague. You could just as well be describing me. It might be a freelancer, I suppose. I suppose that's possible, yes. Anyway, I have the fees here already made out to the guild registry. 
Thank you very much. Now, if you don't mind, we've a thief to chastise. Then I think I'll be on my way. Thanks again. All right. And now we can never get inside this building again. How sad. All right, well, anyway, let's go ahead and head on down to Lumbridge, because I think we are done here. Just got to talk to Darren, and we will have a complete Thieves' Guild, which will be nice. And get us ready for safe cracking. I don't yet know whether I'll be safe cracking or not, because the way they described it, it doesn't sound as much like Elder Trees as I thought it would be when they said it was like Elder Trees. Because it sounds like you'll be running all over the place, cracking a ton of different safes in a row. Ton. Whereas I thought it'd be like, you know, you click on a safe, your character does it for a long time, and then you have to go find a new one, like Elder Trees. But oh well. I still want to be able to do it, because there are perks and stuff related to doing it. Okay, yes, we've already talked about this. Um, It's done, Guildmaster. My dear fellow, finally we have a guild of our own. The Lumbridge Thieves Guild can finally hold its own next to the crafters, rangers, fishers, and all the other mighty names in all the kingdoms, and it's thanks entirely to our efforts. Our... Yes, with my direction, Robin's experience, and your nimble fingers, we have carved this little root cellar into a glorious bastion of banditry, the likes of which the world has never seen. And now we can plan our next noble strike against the unjust, and those bloated on their own monies. I'll just be going, I think. Hooray! They have to kick you out so that they can upgrade it to the new one. There we go, so now we can make vials of stench. And we got some treasure hunter keys and some experience, and we got that. Do this. Technically, this wouldn't be required for the uh, completionist cape, but there's a song that you get from this. The uh, Thieves Guild song, I believe. Yeah, this song makes this a completionist cape requirement, when otherwise it wouldn't be. Anyway, I guess I'll do this real quick. All right, so now we can look around at this really fancy guild that we've helped fund. Although I'm not sure how this funding happened so fast when I didn't actually get them any money. But on the plus side, there's now a bank booth in here, so that's nice. We can grab our vial of stench back and I think get him to change it. I don't know, maybe we just have to make a new one. I will talk to him to see. Hello there. Can I see that vial of yours, Kebab? I thought you might find it useful when you're fencing shoplifting shoplifted goods if the merchants you steal from don't know who just ripped them off. I really don't know where you learned that trick. Oh, I've always been able to wink. Now what can I do for you? Nothing, that's all I wanted. So yeah, there we go. Now we have a proper vial of stench that will work if I ever decide I actually want to do that. Which I don't particularly. Now let's go ahead and dump this junk in here. Oh, I want my augmented staff of thingamabob back. Other than that, dump all that. I wanted to look, since this is our off day, at the Arduin achievements real quick. Alright, so. Yeah, we still need to do Back to My Roots. That's what I figured. So that's becoming a very high priority quest. Now we got all these other things. We have to do Castle Wars. We have to do this, we have to do that, which we could do, I have Gloves of Silence, I think I do, yeah, I have Gloves of Silence, I could do that real quick, if desired, and it is somewhat desired, because I want to make a little bit of progress. So basically, if we get back to my roots done, and if safe cracking doesn't come out next week, then we will probably be getting the Arduin Cloak 3, that is the plan the hope, the dream, so... I don't, I can't remember <clears throat> if we've done Castle Wars yet on video, so I don't know whether I'll bother making you guys sit through that. If we haven't, I will. Just because I would like to document the game as it is, and I'm not going to do a brand new piece of content to the channel, or, you know, my previous channel that has most of my videos on it. 
unless uh, it's already been shown. So that's the plan there. Probably won't make you sit through a whole game because they're long. I think I've done it already, so yeah, that'll be fun. Anyway, pickpocket a watchman. Hooray, not on my watch. I got some bread. Alright, so now we're going to head on up to the Lunar Isle, because I think, was it Orania Teleport that we have to use? Either way, I'm going to get on up here and convert us over to Lunar Spells real quick. While I look up what we need for the um, Teleport, so that I don't have to go back and forth. Alright, Hard Tasks. Where is the Hard Task that I wish to do? One Law, Six Earth, Two Astral, apparently. I don't actually have any Astral runes, do I? Oh, no, wait, they gave you 50 as part of the quest. And also, I think I already had some, now that I think about it. Um, yeah, I did. All right, so what, it was two Astral, one Law, and six Earth, I believe, was the case here. Let's get rid of these gloves. All right. Yeah, but getting these out of the way, I will at least be somewhat closer to uh, happiness, the Arduin Cloak 3 of happiness. Yeah, after that, oh, this is a bad place to be. So yeah, we have to kill a frog eel, watchtower. Oh, you know, I should have probably combined that with the other one, right? Well, whatever. We'll do that next, then, and that'll be the last one we do. Pray, pray, pray. Okay, Lunar Spells activated. Orania teleport. There we go. Oh, I have to speak to Baba Yaga, apparently. I had no idea. Well, we will go do that real quick. And while we were there, we will grab the runes for a Watchtower Teleport, which is um, two Law runes, two Earth runes. Apparently. I didn't realize that there was two things that... Oh, wait, no, it wasn't. Pickpocketing the Watchmen didn't require the quest, did it? Because you could always break in before the quest. It's how you start the quest. That's it. I was just confused about the situation. But there we go. Now I got the runes for that. Even though we're going to have to come back here to switch back anyway. Which is fun. Anyway, let's go talk to Baba Yaga, apparently. In this crazy house. Hello there. Ah, a visitor from a distant land. How can I help? There is a lunar spell I can't use in my spell... Okay, there is a lunar spell in my spell book that I can't use. Could you help you? Certainly. It's one I've just rediscovered. I can teach it to you if you like, but you have to listen to a story first. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, I don't mind hearing story. Wonderful. Well, I was going through some ancient documents recently, expanding my knowledge of our great ancestors. Hmm, actually, I think I'd better go further back so you will understand. You know of our ancient war with the Fremenic that you recently healed? Of course, I'm a great diplomat, aren't I? Some diplomat? Did you even discover why we were at war for so long? Er, you couldn't see eye to eye about magic or something like that? Not too far off, it goes deeper than that. The Fremenic were actually the first to discover how to make runes, but there was disagreement within the tribe about the implications of making such powerful objects. Most Fremenic felt we were stealing power from the gods. They could not see past that to the great things we could do with such power. So we split from them and became the Moon Clan. Our ancient leader, who first discovered the Rune Essence Mine here on Lunar Isle, traveled far and wide searching for more places of power. He and his followers built altars all over Gilinor, which you use today to create runes. And at their height, they made runes by the Crateful. They had perfected the process and even advanced it, creating altars that could create any type of rune regardless of the crafter's ability. But the strife between the Moon Clan and the Fremenic heightened. The Fremenic had grown strong in body, while our clan had grown strong in mind. They overpowered our tribe, and we retreated to Lunar Isle, where we have lived ever since. The Fremenic then swept over Gilinor, destroying the altars we had made in an attempt to remove all trace of magic from the land. That's all very interesting, but what's it got to do with this spell? I'm getting to that. The Fremenic were not as thorough as they thought. They destroyed only the entrances to the altars, for the altars themselves were on a different plane but they were successful in wiping out our ability to create runes. That ability has only recently been rediscovered on the mainland, so I hear. 
Our people were left isolated on Lunar Isle, but we used it to our advantage. Our control over magic advanced beyond the need for runes, and all knowledge of the altar locations passed from memory. Fortunately, some records survived. The manuscript I discovered contains the teleportation spell to an advanced altar called Orania. It's an altar that allows the user, regardless of the rune crafting ability, to craft any type of rune upon it. Orania is a powerful altar indeed. What state it is in after so many millennia, I know not, but it's interesting all the same. So, will you teach me the spell? Certainly. Okay, and now you know the teleportation spell with you. I'll go explore. You know, does that mean that ZMI Altar came out after Lunar Diplomacy? Because I didn't realize that if that's the case. Let me look this up. Orania Teleport came out in September 2007. Um, Orania Runecrafting Altar doesn't have a release date on it on this page. Maybe the cave does. Yeah, September 2007. Wow, I didn't realize that it was over a year after Lunar Diplomacy that ZMI Altar came out. Crazy. But I guess I think I remember looking up that related to when Old School came out, so. Anyway. Away we go! That was a lot of dialogue we had to do for that. But that is done, so now we can head back real quick and do the final thing. But honestly, you guys don't need to watch me do the Watchtower Teleport, do you? It's it's nothing special. Not like this one that took a lot of effort. Oh, well, you can watch it anyway. I don't care. I need to fix that. <laughs> lava on the path. Lava, lava, lava. But yeah, like I said, though, with any luck, in one week, we will have the fancy Arduin Cloak 3 that will improve my pickpocketing ability and is honestly one of the major reasons why... I've not been pickpocketing much lately, because I've been wanting that cloak. Once we get that, we'll be on the road to 99 thieving, I think. In all likelihood, which will be nice. I am annoyed about the Black Ibis outfit. You know, I'd love to get the full thing. Having one piece is nice, but I'd love the whole one. I just don't know how feasible it is, because it's so time-consuming. Who wants to watch the Watchtower? All right, well, anyway, I will see you guys next time with a quest, a mystery quest. Who knows what it will be? I don't.